Oh man. Oh god, they're gonna leave me. Don't 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 don't, don't leave, don't leave! Oh man, let's go. Oh man. Are you serious? Absolutely. Let's go guys. Electric, 100 percent electric. Alright guys. Oh man, this is a first for Alfred Montaner, guys. Come on guys. All electric baby. Woo! Welcome to X Shore, guys. It's Alfred Montaner. Wow, we got a loaded house. Took the crew on the brakes. Wow! All right, guys, listen, we're going to Black Point Marina. You know where Black Point Marina is? Hey, um, I guess they don't. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so we're on the egg shore right now. No, I, hey, should I be scared and, or should I be scared and worried about here? Uh, no, no, I shouldn't Let's be. Let's hope not. Let, we, no. we got an experienced driver, so we're ha very good to go. <laughs> Have you seen uh, some of my videos on uh, YouTube or no? I am not familiar with your YouTube channel, uh, no. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to check it out. Right I don't think this. Alfred is scared of a lot of things, so... <laughs> hey guys, introduce yourselves while we're here. I got the team at X-Shore, right? So what's your name? Hey, I'm Will Green. I'm in charge of the uh, U.S. operations. And? I'm Victor. Victor? I, I I'm so I can't believe we're right now on a hundred captain hundred percent electric, a hundred percent electric guys. All right, so what's your name, Captain? I'm Eric. Eric, Captain Eric. And I'm Philip, the software engineer. Software and. And I'm Cree, the service side. All right, guys. So you guys are all based out of Sweden, or some of you guys are here in Florida. No, Will runs the, the U.S. Uh, operation here. On yeah, side. I'm in Sarasota. He's in Colorado and he's out on the boat as much as he can. Okay, so you're in Florida, right? Yes. I can drive to you. Me and you got to talk later. We got to find out where we can steal one of these later. We'll talk about <laughs> that afterwards. Yeah. Don't worry. About, don't don't laugh too much, man. We got the CEO or COO. No, look, I did actually a walkthrough with the COO of the company, right? Yeah, uh, Oscar, correct. and. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and show them that video after this one. I'll, I'll put a suggested link so they can see that. Um, I think it's gonna be really impressive to show how many people are on this boat and uh, what it does with 100% electric. What are we looking at right now, battery-wise, Captain? So right now, we are having a range of 70 miles left on the battery. The battery is 89%. It takes a very little draw when we're just going at cruising speed like this. Though we're having a pretty strong headwind. If I turn around, we would basically be cruising with no draw. So Oscar told me five miles an hour, we can do about a hundred miles. Correct. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and you can see that right here. I'm at five right now, and you have 65 heading right in there, and, and we have already enough. pulled uh, 11 points out of the battery. We go this way, we'll probably say 120. Okay. Up to seven knots, you have that range. So now, he said that this will go up to 40 miles an hour? Yes, sir. Even with this payload, when we have the whole crew here, we can still get this up. Our, we have almost a thousand foot-pounds of torque. A thousand? Hold on a second, because I'm a little heavier and I'm losing weight. I'm losing <laughs> weight, guys. Why are you laughing? Why is everybody smiling, man? Hey, Alfred, what? when we pull this, you need to have your back against here. Otherwise, I'm not touching this throttle. Really? Is it, it, have your it's that board. intense? Yes, sir. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is this is the revolution that I've been waiting for, guys. I've been waiting for this right here. X Shore. So, look, I think we can actually have a small window to open it up a little bit. We can't go full throttle because of the events and stuff going on. And uh, but I think we will be able to show something. Yeah, the plan here right now is we don't want to be real douchebags with this. We want to be very friendly to everybody. But given how fast we go up in plane. If it's clear, we're not going to pull a lot of weight, which is poor noise. There is no noise. So, so we're going to basically just make sure we don't have any... Where does the smoke... Where does the, where does the smoke go? <laughs> exactly. There's no smoke! That's, do, you hear, that, do you hear the noise? That's, the only noise you hear right now is how the propeller is shoveling water back there. Okay, so... It's so, completely quiet on the way. So that, that, is, that is interesting, right? So there's no noise. So let me ask you a question, right? Because it's electric, 
he just said something about the propeller and you said there's a thousand pounds of torque what are we using a bigger propeller on this because you have that much torque it's a big prop it's a 19 inch screw that's on the back there and that's got a 27 inch pitch on it 27 inch pitch you got it 27 or wait wait oh, 27 degree Ten, 27 degree 27 degree I'm sorry about that. Yeah. No, that's fine. We so, talked about no drinking until after. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Swedish guys we're do not, that too? We're going to tell you about the Magnum bottles we have here for later, but that is not for now. We're, we're going to find out later. <laughs> so so I, I, when I walked this with Oscar, he, he showed me the, all the, the cork floors and all that stuff. I see this as a tender for like a big yacht that doesn't want to carry fuel. And they just put this in the back of their, or on their flybridge or wherever they have it. I'm so excited to see exactly what this thing does, guys. Yeah, that's a perfect use case. Another thing that we're doing, we're working with a dive shop out of Key Largo. Okay. And they're going out to very sensitive reefs and they want to make sure it's really clean. And I still haven't met that diver that likes to get a little bit of an exhaust uh, dust in their lungs before they're going down. So not only is it clean for them going out and it's quiet, it's also a very happy marine life for that. Guys, we might have a very short uh, window of opportunity here. Could you just make sure we don't have any <laughs> any of our friends? I, I, I'm, I'm almost worried. He just turned back his, his uh, cap. Am I going to have to change my cap around, guys? You might. All right, all right, guys. So we're not going to go fast for long. Could you please lean your back against all here? Right, all right, all right. Let me oh, get this. Let me, wait, let me get this shot, guys. Hold on. Get, get ready. Wait for it. Do we see wait. any cops? <laughs> wait a second. Yep, yep, hey. Is this, wait, are you guys going to do something illegal? Do you no. see any cops? All right. <laughs> what? These Swedish people are taking over. Guys, what is All this? Right. Right. Goes. Oh, boy, welcome. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, my God, guys. That is so crazy. Oh, boy. absolutely loving with this. So this here mm -hmm. is a carbon fiber structure that is so strong that we are putting a tow hawk on the production boats back there. So you get the angle for wakeboarding. Okay. And when we get the crew and we just sit back there, we can create that wake if we wanted to, so you can start doing that um, so you wake can... surfing instead as well. So like a, yeah, on... give me a couple of uh, pull-ups there, guys. All of you. Up, uh, pull-ups. Now. Here you go, big crew. That's just that whole thing. That overhang. So, so this is an amazing play boat because you get that torque, it's clean, you go, and then you just cruise down. No fumes, no noise for anyone. All right, so. You like it? Uh, stop trying to sell me something yet. I haven't driven it. Let you me drive. drive. I will drive. I will drive. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so I want to show. I want to show you. I know. I know we can't really open it up, but slowly get it into plane, and I want to show how you're manually right here i don't think you're gonna have a problem to be honest with you all right well, um, so so i know i know you guys are worried i know you guys yeah, are worried all right on ready want just go. a slow gradual normal drive plane go just do it nice and slow now i put all the crew back there and still we just pushing ourselves out of the water this is the thing about a third of the torch now we have oh my god i gotta slow down just hit 33 months there and I didn't even open up the for all them, let it come up. This water is good. Alright. Alright, so so we cannot we amazing. Yeah. And the sweet spot for cruising around in this boat is like 23 to 25 knots. It's designed to go there and we can go at 40 to 50 miles depending on the wind and currents of course at that cruising speed. So now I see, look, we have a bunch of people here. It really didn't affect or doesn't affect how it planes out, right? Yeah, we, we, we are certified in Europe for 10 people with this and that's even without having these benches. When we have that, it's rated for 14 people. The, the beauty of this with all the torque and the way the boat is designed is that you can load it up as pretty much as heavy as you want. Um, we're actually having a couple of guys are gonna retrofit this one for actually hauling sewage. 
so we're gonna be really a boat. yeah and they're actually gonna go and empty those tanks and it sounds kind of funny to have such a nice featured boat for such a thing but they are really trying to help clean this uh, maritime life very clean and neat and they're using all the hollow space of this boat for those tanks and we have no problem taking on a, a couple of tons the boat performs just fine with that so that's another unique feature of the boat design and electric in general so what what are we what what are we at now on the battery no we're at 87. i would i would love to open this up on open ocean i would i i just would just i just need 10 seconds of you guys to be a little risky come on guys do it come on don't worry listen i'll pay the ticket come on here somebody hold my hat please all right, <laughs> all right come on come on this is what i need guys it's gonna look great going down the wind. Uh, all right guys yeah. all right get ready oh my god you do feel that i have to hold on guys you see that's what i want them to, you see that's what i want to show them right there yeah. i'm not going fast that's that 35. okay so but you see that's what i wanted to show them that listen we can if I if I had my zoom camera and I'm filming from the side, you're gonna see that the boat is moving fast because you know what it is, right? I get a bunch of people that are gonna say, oh, they didn't show the boat running really fast. And listen, they're not gonna understand that we're not supposed to go fast here, you know? So so but listen guys, this is what I wanted to show you guys. And the, the interesting thing about it is what we're hearing is just the props in the water. That's all you're hearing and whatever the water is splashing on the boat. So that, that's awesome. So I guess you can start heading back. Uh, I'm gonna get this shot right here. I'm gonna sit here while we turn. How crazy is that, guys? That is so nuts. Yeah, we, we, we slacked off at 35, and that was going in into a pretty heavy headwind. When we go this way, we were playing out more if we keep it going. And as you can see, it doesn't matter really where the crew is at. Back, you know, do, do what you gotta do i mean from here we're good i already got whatever we we needed to film so everything is extra guys you drive it? let's go somebody's got to hold the camera who's gonna hold the camera all right how, how does it right here all right what does that do this this will slowly bring it to the sides ah. you see that all right guys all right don't you say you have 60 million people watching your show? No, not 60 million. I got I got 60 million views. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. So so interesting here. Very 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 sensitive. So so guys, get ready. Hold on. All right. No. Do it again? <laughs> no. Well, okay. No sure no. Um. So I can probably just give it a look. So it's very gradual. I'm just slowly moving yeah. it. Yeah. That is so different. Right. And now, if I wanted to, can I go? Directly, I'm, there's no neutral. I can go in reverse if I want Here to. Is, uh, we turn everything off. There. Turn off. Yeah. So if you go in reverse now, yeah, do it very gradually, very, very gradually. Well, Otherwise, okay. you're gonna throw him overboard. Okay. So if I throw him over, that's more views. <laughs> you said you wanted some guys. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Captain? I'm ready. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So yeah, I think what's what's interesting. You, know what you see, look, I'm gradually bringing it up to plane. And I, I'm not going to take it out. I know you guys, but if, if I want, hold on, okay? Hold on, I'm going to show. Uh, you see <laughs> You see that? Yeah, hold no, on, guys, no, uh, all right, so. hold on. All right, can you hold on? Hold him. Hold him. Get ready. Hold on. Get ready, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Don't be scared. You guys are all scared. All right, all right, just. Okay, that is, that's impressive. Now, I don't, that is great. Yeah, I know, I know. That's good. Hey, now you know how hard my job is. Now, now we got to go slower uh, because uh, we need to be able uh, to do this without uh, the cops. Okay, guys, listen. So, perfect. Good job. Alfred, you're so welcome back when we have clear water. We're going to go and have some fun on this. So, listen, here's what we'll do. We got Hallover Inlet. Hallover Inlet's one of the craziest inlets down in Miami. It's actually one of the craziest in the world. And I'm known in Miami as the king of Hallover. So what we can do is we can do a follow-up video out of Hallover and then we can run it hard for a longer time so they can see what this boat does, guys. Yeah. So And come and look at this, Alfred. Now we're cruising back. We have 85% battery. So we took uh, four points or whatever that was out of all these uh, heavy accelerations. 
we have a range of 85 miles. So we can be out here till we get very thirsty. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about something that people are going to ask. All right, so so you got 85 miles of range. You go to dinner 40 miles out. You got 40 miles back. What's and this has happened in the car world, right? So where do you charge up? How do you charge up? What's that going to look like? I, obviously, you guys are ahead of the game when it comes to the electric game because this I, I see this as a big thing in the future, guys. Uh, so how's that going to look as far as maybe you need to 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 have an, an extra cell or how how right. is that going to happen? Let, let me explain that because this is definitely one of the most common questions we get. First of all, we have 100 miles of range. We've already been out playing and we have 85 left to go. Okay. So 100 miles is the range in, in non-planning speed. And then, so 40 plus 40, you should be fine going that slow. You can do all these accelerations, etc. if you want. What we typically say to just make this real for people is that when you get stuck with a car and the car is out of power, you are stuck on the road. Mm -hmm. This boat is not gonna get stuck. We actually have a button here, of course, it's all software that our awesome engineers has built. We can unlock another 5% of the battery that we just keep for that. And if you go at this speed, mm -hmm. you will always make seven to eight miles. And that gets you safely into a dock. Any dock with power is gonna give you uh, the juice. Obviously, the more you have, the faster you charge. This boat is future-proof. It's very simple, we just have one hole for plugging in whatever power that's available. We take 110, 240, three-phase. The battery system is 400 volts. Okay. We haven't even have some customers that have um, built their own uh, uh, superchargers. They're very expensive, but for people that want to empty it, go out and take another dive tour in the afternoon, they get a full charge from zero to 100 in an hour and a half. But anything you have on your dock is going to start charging you. And you get a full charge overnight with regular shore power that you have on any dock. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, listen, um, we're getting back to the show. Guys, I have a huge, you know, let, let me let me get on camera real quick. I have a huge smile on my face because I've been waiting for this day for a long time, guys. I want to thank the guys here at X Shore. You guys want to? I want to show you one more thing. No, I'm going to hold on. Stop. No, it's just a feature. We are a tech company. Uh, uh, We're building Okay, go. What? We're not gonna fake. Oh, let me let me preface yeah, this. For sure, for We're sure. not gonna fake this, but this is our man overboard function. This is an extremely safe boat to drive. If I would be here alone and I'm out playing and doing this, and I make a mistake and I fall overboard, this boat will sense on the watch here that I have been with too far of proximity from this wheel. For what did we set a threshold? Well, Five as seconds. Soon as as soon as the watch is submerged underwater, it'll sense that something's wrong, and after five seconds, it'll turn the boat from drive mode to just ready. So it'll essentially put it in park. It'll just stop. Yes. And then exactly. it'll drift, so you can actually, if you have your life vest, you can yes. you can swim back to your boat exactly. if you get ejected. Exactly. And, yep. exactly. So that's awesome, and that does it automatically. And there's a lot of other information that you can get from the app too, because there's an app on this system as well. Right. And it essentially provides constant battery feedback so you can monitor it, your boat, when you're charging on your dock. It also provides range information um, and other temperatures to the system. Now, Phillips can demonstrate how that works. Go! Oh, all right, guys. Hey, I'm sure. I could do it. <laughs> all right, guys, listen. So this is, this is when the fun really happens, guys. Unfortunately, I can't do everything on video. Guys, let's turn around and do what we we're going to talk about. All right, guys, I'm from Monster Making a Scene with the X-Short people. Let's go now, 100 miles an hour. Boom!